night is this little dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And they continue with Gothic Dark Mysteries. Now, I think this is going to be the last episode, but that depends on how long finishing all of the side quests will take me. here to finish um, the quests related with the alchemist. Something, something must have worked wrong and he didn't uh, go back here from uh, he, from his cell in New York City. I'll try to talk with him when I go back there. Mm. But for now... It's pretty much only minor stuff left anyway. I'll try to hit the water maybe. Okay, that went pretty well, all things considered. Mm, he gave me, when I freed him, he gave me the key to the old water mill here. It contains a piece of armor. It's pretty useless to me at this point and I don't really know what, what the developers were thinking when designing this quest in such a way, but I will showcase it just because. actually be very useful to me because I think that might be the key to the tower in the monastery but what you get from here apart from that is a royal guardsman armor which is interesting because uh, this armor actually comes from the vanilla game uh, but it's only used in a beginning cutscene like in the intro of the game and it's worn by the by the guardsmen that uh, accompany the judge that sentences you sentences you to be thrown 
into the barrier, so that's some cool trivia there. But maybe the key I've just found will let me open the, uh, the, the tower in the in the monastery here. Which would definitely be a relief because I was at a loss as to how to open it. This is also an original location. Uh, like the tower itself exists in uh, in the vanilla game, but it only has the ground floor, so there's pretty much nothing in there. It's only a ruin. Where, whereas in the mod, it's actually full of treasure. <laughs> Not that you need it at this point of the game, uh, but there is this musical crystal which plays a song. Uh, when you use it, and it's actually another song recorded by the developers of the mod. Okay, this bow, bow is a really little stubborn, but let's disregard it. At this point it doesn't really matter anymore. piece of paper for the last time.
of those things are pretty pointless at this stage, but I just can't can't help myself. Okay, so let's use the musical musical crystal and let the music ac accompany me uh, on my way to the smuggler's camp. Poznamy przyszłości swe ślad, czy tylko odpowie nam wiatr. Na żaglach marzenia popłynę znów sam, gdzie źródło swej magii mam. Tam szczegół mej mocy przed każdym, kto żyw, zwycięzcy pradawnych bit. I tylko w pamięci mej wciąż będzie tkwić szum drzew, tak uśpiew życia ni. Nadzieję płomienną mam w sercu swym, by ujrzeć awalon przez mgły. Przez mgły widzę wyspę jak z dziecinnych snów, jakże chciałbym zobaczyć o yeah, So I guess it's just the same song as the one that, that was being played in the, uh, in the tavern.
Okay, so that should be the, the smuggler's quest finished. It lasted throughout most of the game, actually. Yeah, but unfortunately I think this quest you can only finish if you choose the way of the warrior with the prime evils and I've chosen the way of the mage. Mm, not, sure, not sure why the quest with the uh, smith didn't finish. Mm. This one is bugged. I'll try to do that. this one and this one. And this one is part of the end game, so I'll have to do it. Yeah, I guess you can only finish Angar's quest if if you are on the way of the warrior because as I said uh, actually as he said rather he was a paladin once and he can help you uh, consecrate your blade but I want to do one more quest around here Fiddler. So, the Fiddler is intended as a companion, and as I already mentioned, he's actually uh, very well developed for a gothic companion. He has a different uh, conversation every day, uh, he comments on many of the locations and characters, he comments on the things that you do, for example, the important characters that you kill, but the problem is that the companions in gothic are pretty crap uh, to be around. Uh, they they are a huge burden overall and very annoying to travel with so you can uh, you can manipulate this quest by joining with him and then using the time crystal to uh, initiate his next dialogue every day So for example here, he's uh, commenting on the fact that I've killed the undead dragon, because theoretically he would have been with me. Yeah, so if I use the time crystal to manipulate the time of day, it will initiate the next one of his conversations, 
uh, and I can um, I can repeat that until his quest is finished. Oh damn it! Not not this one. I didn't want to do that. Każdego poranka, gdy słońce znów lśni, to magia uderza do drzwi. Jej moc wszechobecna wciąż otacza nas, gdy słońca przyświeca nam blask. Po zmroku do duchu wzracamy się, cóż mogą powiedzieć, któż wie. Czy prawdę poznamy przyszłości swej ślad, czy tylko odpowie nam wiatr? Na żaglach marzenia popłynę znów sam, gdzie źródło swej magii mam. Tam szczegą mej mocy przed każdym, kto żyw, zwycięzcy pradawnych bit. I tylko w pamięci mej wciąż będzie tkwić szum drzew, tak już śpiew życia nić. Nadzieję płomienną mam w sercu swym, by ujrzeć awalon przez mgły. Przez mgły widzę wyspę jak z dziecinnych snów, jakże chciałbym zobaczyć ją znów. Uh, that, that backstory is actually 100% made up and to be honest I can't really see the point like first of all I'm not really sure what's that supposed to mean or signify and second of all I think uh, the hero's story is actually better if you don't know why he was imprisoned here especially because like uh, it's a part of a running gag because uh, for example, every time he tries to introduce himself throughout the series, uh, somebody t tells him uh, that, that it doesn't matter, or they ha that they doesn't have, they don't have time, or they don't care, or something. So it's not it's not that he doesn't have a name; it's just that nobody cares. of the UI seems to have disappeared and I can't save or load I guess there is always 
that. Now he actually gives you a different response and the conclusion of the quest is a little bit different depending on which of these you choose, but I myself am going to choose Enos because, uh, well just because I always play, a, well always, often play a pretty um, morally stand-up character in games um, and you know try to do the right thing and perhaps less so in this playthrough it was um, more about completion than it was about any kind of role playing uh, but I'm going to choose Enos nonetheless after all I've sided with uh, the primevals and uh, defended their ultimate secret which was the child of Enos so it's only fitting to answer this I would probably uh, call their attention on me, at least, uh, you know, if I am a video game protagonist, because then there's a huge chance I will actually survive, and my friend will also survive, because I will draw the uh, ire of the enemy. And if it, if it was a, a like, quote-unquote, real-life situation, I guess I wouldn't be so keen on uh, concentrating the enemy um, enemy's um, focus on me, but it is a video game, so I'm going to you to answer using the framework of, of a video game.
Możesz mnie przepuścić? So, I think, yeah, that, that concludes the official quest. Now, obviously, he has a lot more, a lot more interactions, uh, like um, when you, as I said, when you visit certain places, uh, meet certain characters, kill certain characters and all that, but I can't in um, clear conscience recommend uh, traveling with him because uh, it's, it's just so tedious to manage a companion in this game so that's the best way to experience at least some of it I just want to check to check uh, the the quest log for this particular for this particular quest just in case there's something more there I guess it, it isn't here or I just can't find it. Never mind. Uh, it's another piece cleared out of my list. Now I'll go back to the mine camp and then go on to the old camp. But I can already see it's not going to be the last episode because It doesn't matter at this point uh, to, tra to train, but I still want to, and just to, you know, have the greatest possible skill at the end, just for bragging rights and completion rights. Okay, so I guess I won't be training because he seems to be, be back. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. I just wanted to try. Um, but I can already see, uh, alas, that I won't be able to finish the game in this episode. Um, it, there, there's not much left, but still enough to... For fact's sake, I'm just... I hope I'll be able to talk to Slicer uh, to finish his quest once I search through the old camp. But to do that, you need to equip the scroll of...
transformation into a meat bug. you can u actually use it to crawl underneath the gate here, which is kind of cool. And now you can just exterminate everyone inside. They are hostile to you anyway, so you don't have to feel bad about it. Okay, that should be all of the outer ring cleared. Now I wonder if mud is actually also hostile to me, because throughout all of the game I failed to showcase mud. Hey kolego, nowy, chyba cię jeszcze tu nie widziałem. Przyłączę się do ciebie na chwilę, jeśli nie masz nic przeciwko. Przyda ci się przyjaciel? Yeah, so basically mud is the most annoying character in Gothic. He follows you around and talks nonsense, he's useless because he flees from every enemy, and in fact he's the only character in game that has level 0, which means that if you kill him you get 0 experience, which by the way means that a meat bug is more profitable to kill than mud is, and also uh, if you happen to kill, me, me, uh, kill mud in the middle of the old camp, nobody is going to care. He's just so uh, disliked, but I'm going to let him uh, talk for a moment just to showcase his dialogue. Because among, among other things, it's implied that he was sent to the colony for a bestiality. Czemu nie? Chodźmy. Świetnie. Po drodze możemy sobie trochę porozmawiać. 
Powiedz dokąd idziemy. A może to niespodzianka? <śmiech> Uwielbiam niespodzianki. Actually, maybe maybe the same trick with the uh, time crystal is going to work. Work. Nie zwracaj na mnie uwagi. Będę się trzymał ciebie. Spokojna głowa. at the very least uh, trigger the talk about the animals when he asks you if you also like animals too much Możesz się zamknąć choć na chwilę? Jasne. doesn't seem to work. I guess I'll... I'll try to murder the rest using manual methods and in this in this way, although that's not going to work either because uh, they can easily kill me if, if they concentrate their ranged weapons on me. So I just, I guess I just have to... I guess I just have to leave Matt alone. Maybe I'll come back for a second after I've killed them all. If he still lives, if I don't kill him by accident. get a piece of a dialogue with Bartolo here. Podejrzewałem, że prędzej czy później ktoś spróbuje użyć pentagramu, ale w odróżnieniu od tego zdradzieckiego kowala Stone'a, ciebie już nie potrzebujemy. Gdzie jest Stone? Za kratkami. Ale ciebie czeka miły, przytulny grób. Brać go, chłopcy! Posiekać go! Zabi... Uh, because ori originally you intended to get in here, uh, get in here using the uh, room of teleportation to the old camp, but for some reason, for some reason, I haven't even found it, which I'm not really sure why, and not really sure where it's even intended to be in the mod, but that doesn't matter, I uh, showcased that piece of dialogue. Okay, that, that's a problem because I don't think I have saved in... Oh, I did, okay. That's actually good. Uh, and the talk with uh, Bartolo also uh, gave you a, a clue that Stone is alive and has been imprisoned um, in the dungeon, which is... Um, which you can get him out of once you kill Gomez and obtain the key.
Okay. At this point, I'm not going to even bother with looting all of the bodies. Or the chests, for that matter, because it doesn't really matter anymore. No, you Jak się tu dostałeś? Czekaj no. Czy to nie ty walczyłeś z naszymi ludźmi w wolnej kopalni? Twoi ludzie nie mieli prawa jej atakować. Musiałem zapobiec twoim szalonym zapędom. Rozmowa ze mną takim tonem wymaga pewnej odwagi. Ale zjawianie się tutaj tak po prostu to już zwykła głupota. Osobiście dopilnuję, żebyś już nigdy nie wszedł mi w drogę. Ani się wasz używać... No, i żeby mi to było ostatni raz. Hmm. Not sure why he, why, why he Ani się wasz yet. używać czasu. Plans, but I don't particularly care Ani... at this point. So you get the key to the dungeon, as well as a, uh, as well as a key to uh, Gomez's chests. I'm not sure if he's dead. I'm uh, not going to rob all the chambers, just because I don't care at this point. Uh, just Gomez's one. There is also a unique piece of dialogue added by the mod to to Gomez's uh, handmaiden, and here are Slicer's trousers, which also have a unique model. She should, she should initiate a talk with me now that Gomez is dead. Although I guess maybe he isn't. Maybe I just... Yeah, right. Well, so it's this cutscene again. <laughs> I guess the developers of the mod 
must be really fond of it. <laughs> Which doesn't really say the best things about them, in my opinion, but oh well. Okay, so the last thing to do, well, not the last, because I still need to free the, the smith, but I want to open this to open this door and not because I want to loot the, the the tower although it's full of loot but as I said I don't particularly care at this point uh, I do however I care about uh, the Romanin the book of riddles that I think is at the top Yeah, right, there it is. So let's read it. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember where the next book is and I can't quite figure it out by this changed riddle, so I'll have to visit the hermit for the clue, but I'm going to do it next time because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and see you in the next one. Bye.